now. Yes, and there we go, guys. There we go. Third game, man. And oh, Viper with kills. Viper with kills. And now Pedro with Britons, man. With Britons. I think they cannot call a restart. They cannot call a restart. And there is the goal at the back. Bear is also at the back. A stone ah, close to that wood. And uh, the ships and boars and deers. Look at this. Boars and deers outside. You don't want that. You don't want that, but now at least he has all the ships. And for Britain civilizations, it's always very, very nice to have all the deers already. Yes, and they have. They really have. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> well, let's check Viper map. Viper map has uh, the deers outside. Well, two out of three outside. One boar inside. Where is the other boar? Inside as well. And a stone and gold at the back, which is always nice. And another stone and gold really, really at the back, which is even nicer, right? Even better. So he has a okay map, everything at the map, at the back, sorry, which is good. While Pedro with Britons with only that gold and one stone forward, I don't like his map. He doesn't have anything, only that gold and one stone like this. It's in bad position to take it. And the other resources outside. The location about the relics, you can see. One relic close to the to the gate. Right? And now, there you go. Good luck again, right? Let's see who is going to win. There you go. Who is winning? Let me check. Fast. And unpredictable. Now, nah, Viper is going to win again. He's going to win again. The fight, right? No! This time, Pedro! Pedro got the scout, there you go, finally he got the scout war, so let's see if now Pedro can take the relics and can get the map control and can do something man, and can do something soon, let's see, we will find out very soon, okay, going at the top, Mr. Pedro going to find the relic, he's finding the relic there, there you go, in the other side, let me check, uh, well, well, little by little he's gonna go for the exploration, he only can see that relic viper, other than that, nothing, and he didn't explore even inside, so I don't know why they go for those kind of fights, and viper, well, viper can see the boar, so it's important, the important stuff, he can do it, he can see it, sorry, okay, Fifteen population for Pedro, fourteen for the Viper, and uh, let me check. Well, Pedro seems to be now a bit ahead. Yeah, but it's just uh, the difference in the scout. Nothing, nothing really. Okay. Taking now the boar. Where are the ships for for him? He's exploring there. Well, he has the ship there to put on the gate, but other than that, he took all the ships already. Most likely, right? Because uh, you know the fast. Food incoming from the ships, the bonus from the Britons is, yeah man, is strong, very very strong. One, two, three, four deers, also the boar outside. And five bullies on the berries. Going to take the second boar, yeah, standard, this is a standard, four bullies on the wood, yeah. Completely, really, really standard. You know, and now what to do, right? What he's going to do with Britons? Castle drop and Lombos. Okay, he's bringing the boar and go back with the ship. Go back. Or he's gonna try to push the deers. Yes, in the other gate. Yeah, there you go. Oh, the Viper is housed. There you go, man. What's going on again? He's housed and is he doing. But is he doing a, a house? Okay, he has a house there. On the deer, there you go. Well, Pedro, it's, it's okay, right? Yeah, he's now ahead again. Well, this is again a good position for for Pedro. He has now not the not the loom. Well, Viper did the loom. He lost the scout. Pedro has the scout alive. He can explore everything. So this this is looking okay now for Pedro. Going to take more deers. Well, Viper cannot take the deers. I mean, he cannot push the deers. He can take the, the deer because he can see it, you see, and he's there with three bullies, but outside, it's not, it's not the real 
the ideal situation, right? Okay. And now let me check. 25. He's gonna go for the gold, Pedro. So is he going to go aggressive? Let's see. Okay. Well, the gold doesn't mean that he's going to go aggressive because you can need also the gold for for the relics and so on. But uh, but well, imagine that he was going all this stone, right? Wow, it would be a shame, really a shame. But no, but people is not doing that in in arena map. Okay, so Viper is also going for to to mine gold with those two villagers. If he's not... No, he has the loom, so he might go for another. Yeah. Look at this, man. And both players on the way to Feudal Age. One second difference. Only one second difference. But Pedro has one villager, one villager more. And Viper has one less. And the loom. And the loom. And he's doing the barrack. Welcome, family guy. For... To my stream, sorry. Okay. Let me check. Well, remember, now it's, it's interesting because we can see how he's doing the barrack. He's gonna go for a stable, so let's see if he's going to go aggressive. While Pedro, I see that he. Aha! I like this choice, man. A castle and Lombos. I like this choice, really. Other day, remember, it happened also with MBL and Eddie, if I'm not wrong. Eddie was Kells. He was going barrack and stable while MBL was do, was doing army. Well, was doing the castle, I think. Yes, I think so. Okay. Three villagers and market and blacksmith expected when he's mining a stone and gold for sure is expected. The viper resources very good, very very good. It's going to be, yeah, with blacksmith and stable very soon. And we'll go up. Yes, and there you go. Up and up as well. Nine seconds difference with one Valier more and the scout. So, Pedro. Can have the uh, get the good explor exploration. Yeah, well, one, two, three, and four relics. He can see four relics out of five. The other one is uh, like uh, yeah, in that black area that he can find it if he's going back to explore. Okay, but seems that he's not going for now. While the viper can see what probably nothing, right? Let me check. Yeah, so just the same. Yeah, relic that in the start and here, well, hit explore also. Interesting. He will have the castle, I mean a stone to make a castle right away or he will do like one, two extra tone centers and then he will do a castle. This is also really, really important. Okay, let me check. Yes, fire versus Nick. It was, it was. And it was also, yeah, that 3 2 is everything on YouTube, man. On YouTube. Let's see, you guys, if some moderator can go to the playlist where I have all the Master of Arena games, I think it would be good for the viewers because if they miss it some action, I got there like 100 videos with a lot of games from this tournament. Nomadness as well, but we are talking now about Master of Arena. Pedro is doing right now the Monastery, while the Viper most likely will do Knights, and he has the Siege Warsop with a Mangonel incoming already. Already. Okay, if he stay there. Mm, he's doing a gate. Okay, is he going to finish or not? Trying to go outside, yes, and now he will finish. Go, go, go. Okay, going with the knight. Somehow patrolling, no, not a lot of action. Oh, bye bye the scout. Ah, 
Ouch, why you do that, man? You want to keep the scout as much as possible. He's only with three villagers. Imagine if Viper was there in time with the Mangonel, man. And, uh... No, he will have the castle up. Yeah, it's too far. I mean, it's only three villagers, but I think it's too far. He's going, but uh, let's check. No, he cannot even see the the castle. Not yet, but he will find out very, very soon that there is a castle. Let's go to Viper point of view. And he's trying to convert. He's going with the mangonel. Be careful, be careful. Well, the mangonel is gonna give you a surprise. Oh my god, look at this shot. And he's gonna make another shot. Oh, look at this. Finally, some luck by Pedro. 3 HP. And the Viper is trying to make another shot. Okay. Going with the mangonel. But now the castle is gonna take down the mangonel. Whoa, Viper didn't react fast. And no, that's surprising, right? But it's not easy, also. So one mangonel down. And he has another TC. Viper. No, just one. Well, Pedro has two tone centers already and one castle, so right now it could be a good advantage. Let's see if now he's going to take the relics. Finally, he's going to take it. One relic. He's going to go for the other one. And if you ask me, Pedro has the little advantage right now if he's going to play properly. I agree that he's going there with the mangonel and he will try to push probably. Yes, maybe he's gonna make a siege workshop. No, well, he has. I mean, mangonels or rams soon. But, 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 but the knights, the knights. Okay, he's sending a man. Oh my god, oh my god, I don't want to see this. Go, go to the castle, go to the castle. Yes, he's opening. And oh! And he got it, man. Look at the micro, the sick micro with the mango. He got the monk. Wow, unbelievable. Well, the relic is pretty, pretty close to his base, but he almost got it. While the Viper is just exploring. No, he's going for that relic. Unbelievable. And he's gonna take that relic for sure. Well, at least now Pedro has... Well, Viper has one relic and Pedro has two relics in the bank already. He's gonna take that one and probably Viper without even a scout in Dark Age. You know, he will take the third one or he will find... He will try to search for it, and he is doing right now. Population now, it's close. 53 population, Pedro 51, the Viper, who is doing all the upgrades. He's adding now TCs. Yes, he has one TC, two TCs, doing the market, and... Yeah, buying some resources. You can see both 100 stone to make another TC at the back, at the real back. While Pedro, going to his point of view, he has... Four billions more, same army, doing more and more Lombos, this is with the Fletching, but when he's going to make the super Fletching Botkin Arrow, it's gonna be different. Three TCs already, good amount of farms, five population difference, and still the advantage with one extra tone center, which is, is normal, also with the Britons, who has cheap, or better said, cheaper TCs, right? Okay. Is he getting also the third one? Yes, he is. And the Viper has two monasteries, one at the back, and he's going with the relics. Which is great for him, ideal, I would say. Okay, collected the relic, still, well, the population is increasing, 5, 6 villages more from Pedro, Pedro is gathering good resources, so let's see how he's going to play in this game, because he should have a little advantage, and well, with uh, some good amount of Lombos, I don't know, he has a castle, mm, I don't know if go to, to Imperial right away or going to push, I think going to Imperial fast, it, it, it would be a good choice. By, by Pedro and the Britons, population is still not big difference to only three villages. Wow, only three villages, man. Well, he's with three tone centers like like a long time ago. And Pedro, look at Pedro, man, using the market. He's using already the market, and he want to go up as fast as possible. I don't know if that is going to be good because if Viper is now doing more and more villages, he can get a stronger economy, and if he's Going is lower, but he don't let Pedro that he's doing a crazy damage. You know the Celts with the siege and so on. But Pedro now it's on the way to Imperial doing the loom. Okay.
He's trying to go well, like we said, man, that the stone is, is terrible. But he has another there. He took already the stone and now that the bullies are going to die, both bullies. Oh my god, man. Well, that TC a bit exposed. Is he doing a siege workshop? No, he needs a siege workshop or a stable to make, you, you know, some light caps or some knights. But the Viper, Viper is not even close to go up. Maybe he's using the market. Why not, right? But right now, whoa. Okay, he's coming, he's coming, let's... Oh, he's waiting to the ballistic. If he's going with the ballistic, and open formation, but don't shoot with one, don't shoot with one, shoot with all, man! Oh my god! If he shoot with all, he can get it easily. But get it, man! Get it, get it! 4 HP, oh, I, I really want to cry! Why he let alive the mango, Nella now shooting! Doing a TC, okay, open formation, please. Now he kill and he lost four Lombos, man. Well, still, man, kill it, kill it. There you go, finally, oh my god. Hand card from the Viper. Viper is gathering very good resources, he's about to go up. Okay, but, but, Pedro is already, or almost, going to be in Imperial. And that can be really important. Really important, man, okay. Let's see. And on the way to Imperial, the Viper, with the same population right now, 69, Valia, 77, but double the army by Pedro. Is Pedro doing the trebuchet right away, hand card as well, another TC, so he really have a good, a good economy incoming. Yeah, 10, 11 bullets behind, but right now, really, the Brazer, the chemistry, the hand card, all the average is good, man, is very good. He can go aggressive and try to kill while... Piper doesn't have a, a castle, right? No, he's not even mining a stone or not a stone. No, he's not mining a stone. Which is crazy because you know that also you want to, to make the Furor Celtica and to fight against the, the traps, you need also trebuchets as well. Aha! Okay, he was building the castle. Ah, for that I didn't see that. He was sending already the village to make the castle. That makes more sense. Because it was weird that he wasn't gathering a stone to drop a castle. Now doing more archery ranges. He has, yeah, he's surrounded by the Lombos. He need to move those villages. Yes, he's moving the villages because he knows that those Lombos has a crazy and insane range. But right now, if Viper is coming to with a lot of rhymes, the Lombos are not going to be an old. He will need to add some light caps or, or something like this. But now look at the score. He's ahead. Village is still behind. Army more, but. He's hitting what? Okay, break in. Break in. And Viper in Imperial. Let's see now. Let's see now. Finally, we are getting a close game, which is good, man. Which is good. The, the, the war from, from the, the last arbit from the range units in Imperial is Playboy TV, you know? <laughs> Instead of Brazers, yeah, Playboy TV, oh my god. But you can check all the information below the stream, you know? Okay, but right now I'm uh, going away with the jokes. We can see that, look at this man, Trebuchet killing some military buildings, he's doing lead skirmishes. Doing also the ballistic, cap ramps, conscription, all the average. Is he going to, to push? There you go! Another castle getting that stone and that goal. Good position. But with the ramps, come on, break, break the walls, break the walls. But Piper is doing now the Furor Celtica. He's doing already the Furor Celtica. So with the Furor Celtica, look at those on those ramps. Even cab ramps are 300 HP. 300 HP, which means 100 HP more than Pedro ramps, which is crazy, man. It's absolutely crazy. Imagine in, in, in ramps bottles the advantage they have. So Pedro needs something else than the Lombos. He will need something to counter the Viper army. But Viper now has 20 villages more. Seven army more, which is, poo man, it's it's going bigger and bigger the difference, which is 
Ouch! It's true that also with the uh, Britons you don't need a crazy economy, you know? And with those Lombos you really don't need it. He's doing another TC there, but he has a lot of TCs. Pedro, you are doing a lot of boom now. Boom, over boom, mega boom, ultra boom. Oh my god. Okay, 160, 160, Viper 45 army. His army? Siege Rams, man. Siege Rams. Well, he has some, some skirmishes, but what to do, man? What to do? Okay. Well, the difference in the population is insane, man. If you check, it's like 40 different. Like two vill 20 villages and 20, 20 something army, which is crazy. So let's see. Yeah, Viper did the ballistic. He has all those arbors. He's doing now chemistry guilds. Guilds because, yes. But now, now there you go. Action begins, please. Action begins because people in the chat, people in the stream, people at home, people in AOC, they want action. They want to see the blood. But how to stop those damn siege rams? Only with Lombos, Juni. Aha! Finally, he's doing some light caps. All right. Doing the plus one and. Going to do some damage. Okay, but oh my god, it's gonna be one attack and kill. Look at the look at the look at the population. Look at the siege rams. How many siege rams? Oh my god! How about two, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, or seventeen? I don't know, man. Let's check here. He has sixteen siege rams, and he has one light cat plus one to kill the rams. Look how fast he's going to lose the castle. Now he's doing what? What he's doing is crazy. Doing mangonels. He has now more and more. Well, he has a lot of town centers, so he can really. But check it out. Okay. He killed the castle with all the skirmishes. Look at this, man. Okay, he's sending some more light caps. Doing Onager Arbrade. Yeah, this is good, man. The Onager Arbrade is the only Arbrade that maybe, maybe can change this. But Elite Wood Raider, Siege Engineer. Now Pedro is doing the Chime Bard and Armor. But the military, the amount of military is just crazy. 80 right now for the Viper, 34 for Pedro. It's, it's a lot, man. He's doing mangonels, I agree. He has now Onager, no mangonel anymore. But still, man, it's crazy, man. It's just crazy, man. It's just crazy how he has all that army and he's trying to push him crazy strong. Well, let's see the Onagers. He has now the Onagers and the Onagers might do the damage. But remember that Viper will come from behind with the Leadwood Raiders. So he wants to kill the... Okay, still now trying to hold, but man, look at this, man. He has the has the Onegas and he needs to send the Villiers to kill the Rams, which is crazy. It's absolutely crazy. He's killing all those Villiers with the with the Knights. Oh my god, that multitasking. Pedro, a guy. Look at those Villiers losing a lot, man, with, with the Knights. And now, killing the Relics. And only with Siege Rams and Skirmishers, he's killing the game. Which is absolutely... Wow! No words, man! No words, man! It's crazy, man! Look at this, man! Look at this! And this is the GG call! Unbelievable! What the hell? How many rams? How many rams? Skirmishes and everything! Oh my god! For some reason I thought you are Brits too! Oh my god! Pedro! Don't tell me that! 112, 120 military! 41, 80, and now with the economy, yeah, a lot more food, a lot more wood, and except stone that he has more, and gold that is pretty even, the food and the wood incoming, GG guys, villagers, 8 difference and technology, he was faster, but man, it was, it was domination, man, well, no bad games, I mean, it's the Viper, man, it's the Viper, GG guys, stay tuned.